Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is uh, January 3rd of 2017. And already I have failed to, I didn't make a list, you know, a New Year's list, but I've already failed to uh, do some of the things that I wanted to, you know, wanted to do. I'm kind of strange in a way. Maybe other people are that way. Maybe you're that way. Uh, I like to start new. I like to start fresh. And I like to always look forward to New Year's because, okay, you know, my past sins. And I mean, I'm going to start, okay, I'm going to start on January 1st and do this every day or not do this. Uh, when I was a kid, uh, going to Catholic school or whatever, uh, it'd be that way with confession. I would uh, go occasionally to confession, and I really I uh, wasn't a bad kid, you know. I'd go to confession and say, "Bless mm -hmm. me, Father, for I have sinned." It has been uh, two weeks since my last confession, and I would confess my sin. When I would come out after, and you know, he gives you the absolution, you know, and a penance to, you know, say a rosary or something, whatever. I would come out and I would feel, oh, wow. Fantastic. All my sins are gone. And then the first, it wouldn't last very long because the first, you know, that before the day was over, the first impure thought, the uh, first time I uh, lost my temper, if, if anything, would, and then I'd be, oh, well. So, today's the third, and I have already not done everything that I wanted to do. Uh, I mentioned it in the last video. Uh, I finally have over 2,000 subscribers. For this YouTube site. Uh, where is my YouTube site? Right now I have 2,006 subscribers. It took me 11 years to get 2,000 and get 2,000 subscribers. Uh, I noticed something today. I've got two cameras hooked up, as you know. The Logitech C90. 3E, I think it is, and then the Logitech C9, or 9, I think that's a 930E, the 920, and so this is the new, newer camera, but look at the difference in the, look at that, and I, tra I tried changing the lighting and everything, it's kind of crappy, isn't it? This is much better. I look much better. Uh, I'll be getting this, I think, tomorrow. And this is the model number. Well, it's a, a later version, a new version. And the that same model number, well, not the very same, but the same, was a really good uh, headset. So I'm hoping that this one uh, is going to be a better headset, or at least as good. We'll see. It's going to be here, I think, tomorrow. I ordered this also, this bag, but it's coming, I think, by slow boat from China. It's going to be here in a month, according to their information. So, looks nice. I meant to put that over here, but I've got a camera bag, a canvas, or a leather, not, I'm not sure it's real leather, but I have a camera bag that uh, I've got a lot of people see it and they say, hey, that's a nice camera bag. When I was flying uh, to Washington, D.C., I, I had the camera bag with my cell phone in it, my Chromebook, and 
some chargers and batteries and all types of stuff and had a guy on the airplane say, are you a professional photographer? Well, I guess I took my camera out. Uh, are you a professional photographer with that bag? So I will be getting this someday. Oh, gosh, I wish I'm, I'm worried about Trump, President Trump, President-elect Trump. And the, the one area, well, a whole bunch of areas, but the one area is uh, his tweeting and like he's tweeting, I guess, at North Korea, at the North Korea leader. And I think that guy is... I'm talking about the leader of North Korea is mentally, you know, I think the entire country is mental. And don't provoke, you know, don't unnecessarily provoke people. I just happened to be watching Ronald Reagan's speech when he made the uh, speech and said, uh, axis of evil, and he named the three countries. And I thought, that is really stupid. Don't name them. And I was thinking, well, if I were if I were them, I would get together with each other and make a you know, make a deal, you know. Just no reason to do it. And uh, I think a lot of people after that agree that was not a smart thing for him to do. Ford cancels Mexican plant. Uh, CEO says creating 700 U.S. jobs is a competence vote for Trump. Morning Joe. I, off and on I've watched Morning Joe. I don't watch it now because I don't have uh, cable uh, or I can pick it up. I don't like Joe Scarsborough. Welcome back to the special edition of Relax. Uh, but it's been kind of interesting when I could watch it to watch just the first few minutes to see what his what his agenda was, see what he thought about certain thing, you know, certain things or whatever. But uh, his connection and his this whole Trump thing and. Um, and then, too, what I really get tired of is he was a Florida congressman for a short period of time. And uh, he never fails to bring, you know, to bring that up. And John McCain, I, I was a big fan of John McCain. I mean, John McCain was a hero. I, I thought he was a hero. Still do. And I, I like the stands that he took and things like that. And until he ran for president. And then when he picked Sarah Palin, I lost respect for him because, you know, he was, of course, according to that movie they made, not McCain made, but it was made, it was, uh, so in the movie, it was sort of like, well, he didn't know that she was totally incompetent, and then he was stuck, you know, but uh, when he allowed somebody to be picked like that, to be the vice president of the United States, who is so stupid, and then he had to, of course, you know, I, uh, I, I just, and then some stuff after that, I really... Too late to go back. I mean, he's done so much, but the old John McCain. Uh, and how did they get on John McCain? I don't remember. I've decided that in this video that I kind of try to do every day, I don't know if I can or not. I'm gonna. I need to make some little video, short little video clips to move into another subject. I think one thing I'm gonna do is recommend a movie to you, sort of like a movie of the day that I recommend, or movie of the week, depending on how often I make these videos. Uh, 
Now, it won't be any new, brand new movies just released because I'm, I can't remember. It's been, I can't remember when I went to a movie theater and watched a movie. Uh, I also uh, never pay for, you know, well, not sure, but sometimes a little, movies I paid for a little bit of money are old movies that, uh, but I'm going to be picking a movie for you. I got one, but I didn't bring, I haven't brought, I'm not going to do it this time because I, I want to be able to show you a little bit of information. I'm not going to show you the movie or even, I might play a little bit of, of, uh, the, you know, release thing to get you, probably not even that, but I'm not going to do it this time. Um, that's not it. And I bet I can't find it. Something on here did jog my, my memory about a, a little tiny incident. And I thought, um, so I thought I'd, I'd bring that up to you. Uh, I was out patrolling in a small town about 2 or 3 a.m. in the morning and on a side street there in Raymore, Missouri. There was a car parked just at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. A town that uh, not much going on. Uh, and it was a couple people in the vehicle I could see and they were parked. But they didn't get out of the vehicle, so I, I just pulled in behind them and I didn't turn on the, the red lights. Here in the United States, in some states, police use red lights and in some states they use blue lights. I was in Missouri, and Missouri the police use red lights and volunteer firefighters used blue lights. I think uh, ambulances and fire equipment uh, used red lights in Missouri. But anyway, I didn't turn on the lights. Walked up to the vehicle and there was a <clears throat> male in the driver's seat and a female. And they weren't young, you know, they weren't 16 year old kids or anything. It's two or three o'clock in the morning. And uh, they, they could, you know, they had, I think when I walked up, they were necking, you know. So anyway, I walked up and Driver rolled the window down. I'm not sure if I needed, you know, he rolled the window down. And uh, I said, forget what I said, you know, just everything okay and uh, just checking. And uh, so then I said, could I see your driver's license? And, you know, he went, well, you know, he was deaf and mute. So and I leaned down to uh, the female passenger and I said, uh, ma'am, would you tell him that I need to see his driver's license? And she, you know, the same thing. She was deaf and mute. And so I thought, oh my gosh. Uh, my head, I think at that time when I, I had a book on, uh, learn, I wanted to learn sign language, but I never got around to it. And I wish I had, but it uh, would have come in handy a few times. But anyway, I just wrote a note. Uh, I was just checking. Uh, you need to find a better and safer place to park than this place here. You know, have a good evening. And, you know, the guy read it and started his car up and drove away. So I, I continued patrolling and checking buildings and doing, I was the only officer, you know, on on duty, of course, small town. We did have our own dispatcher at that time in the dispatch center at the police station. And then as I'm driving by the city hall and the our police station over there where I looked, this guy had moved and pulled into the police parking lot and was parked there. And no offense intended, but at the time, what I was thinking it was, you know, deaf and dumb, which I, I'm sure you're not supposed to say anymore or think anymore. 
But what I was thinking was, that was really smart of, you know, this guy to, uh, that's a safe place to be. And I also, I didn't pull into the parking lot and drive, you know, I was going, I'm going down the street or whatever. I've left him and her alone to do whatever they were doing. So anyway, that was a story it just happened, a little tiny thing that I just happened to think about. Uh, maybe a little quieter with the audio because I moved the computer off of the, right where this camera is now sitting. I, that's why I did have the computer right here and the microphone is right there, one of them. So uh, I moved it over there onto a, a, a separate desk. And so that may help. Also gives me some Give me some room, and I'd like room to lay stuff out. And uh, what else is going on? I think that's it. I'm going to make this kind of. Uh, oh, another thing I'm thinking about. I think I'll do is maybe do one Android app. So do a movie, a recommended movie, and then do and show you an Android app that. Uh, and I've got a bunch on here that I like. And I just put the one on that a lot of people were recommending. It's the Google Photo Scan. And what it lets you do is uh, take photos, not take photos, but you have photos. Like this is my mother's. Uh, high, uh, grade school graduation. She's the one right here with my finger there. With almost tell that she has red hair. And this was in uh, 1932. She was very poor. They were very poor, but everybody else was too. But this lets you. Uh, take a picture of old photos or what have you, and it takes five pictures, I think, images, then it puts them together and fixes them up to make them look good. I, I just installed it this morning, and I did take a picture of that, which I wasn't too happy with, but I also am not, you know, not sure I did everything correctly, so. But that's one of the items I'm, one of the things I'm going to review. Let me, um, here's one of my, see how that shows up. There we go, one of my screens. I've got like five screens. Uh, the Prime now, that's for ordering, you know, the Amazon food in. The key ring is, uh, I don't have a, you know how you shop and eat the Kroger's grocery store wants you to have, CVS wants you to have their little card, Walgreens wants you to have their little card. Uh, you can scan them and then they can, uh, So I actually have like, I go to Walgreens all the time, so I have that on card on my, but then you could just hit it and uh, they could scan it off of that instead of, so you don't have to have all those cards with you. Or if you forget it, I almost never go to CVS, but CVS has some good sales on stuff, but you have to have the, you have to have their card. So I've got, uh, let's see. Got my um, the MCL. Whoops. Okay, it's not not as good. So have the uh, heart monitor thing. Now I do that. 
using the uh, cell phone connection for every three months or whatever. I've got a pedometer. That sounds like something. That, that's why I track little kids. Now that's for walking. So maybe it's pedometer, pedometer. I don't know. Whatever it is, I need to be careful. Got my blood pressure thing, or now or my uh, blood sugar thing. I can enter the data in there. I have Uber and Lyft on here, of course. And Uber Eats. Uh, they just started that here for Fort Worth, Dallas area, I guess. And if they had Kentucky Fried Chicken and uh, a few places like that, I would. But I notice that all the places are nice places that are expensive and they don't even like op open to like 5 p.m. or something. Maybe they'll add other things, but uh, I don't have a car. If, uh, if they added KFC, I would, I love KFC. Got a transit thing on here that lets you know where the bus is, you know, because they follow a pretty good schedule. So you can be at a bus stop and look there and you can actually tell it should the bus should be so uh, what else got a bunch of weather stuff on here dark sky a few of these I paid a little bit for you know maybe a dollar fifty or a dollar ninety nine dark sky is pretty good it, it'll let you know when uh, when it's going to rain, look and the you know the temperature and stuff like that. So anyway, I, oh, if you have recommendations on Android apps, let me know. So it is 11 a.m. I've taken my morning medication. My son sees a, my grown son sees a new doctor today who is right across the street. He's been going once a month uh, quite a ways and to a place that's really busy with a lot of strange people wandering around and whatever. And now this place is right across the street. No, by appointment, no extra people and everything. So he's going to be doing that at 1230. So he said he'd like for me to go along. So I'll be walking across the street with him. I hope that he hits it off with the doctor okay. I think he's a little bit concerned about that. So I hope the doctor has a good bedside manner. Thank you very much for watching.